So today we have a Doberman uh, whose name is Dolly, and Dolly uh, lives with a Puggle, a, a Pug Beagle mix, and Dolly is kind of a bully, and what she does is when her owner lays down in his chair, Dolly does not allow the Puggle to stay up there on the couch with him. She wants to be the only one to be up on the couch so what we did is we do an exercise going back and forth to have Dolly avoid the chair that he is in um, with his puggle and the objective is to get Dolly to go to and from uh, a blanket on the ground and ultimately to have Dolly sit next to the couch that he is on next to the chair that he is on while him and the puggle just relax on the couch so the goal is to get Dolly to not jump on the couch at all and to just go lay down next to the couch what we do here is have Dolly go back and forth from a blanket that's on the ground um, because we want to get her mind off of just going straight to the couch and so we go back and forth um, there was a fear that Dolly would nip, and so we do have a vibration collar. It is not an electric collar. It simply just vibrates um, and makes a beeping noise uh, when you use the trigger. Um, and uh, if that didn't work, because she was unresponsive to it, we were then going to move to treats and reward-based methods. Um, as Dolly's just almost a year old, she, so she's still very much a puppy in very many ways. Uh, and this was the result. So at first, Dolly doesn't even want to be away from her human owner. Um, she has a very strong resistance to wanting to stay on the blanket by herself. Uh, and this was the first, really an only main challenge was to get her to uh, simply just stay on the blanket. Um, and so as we work with getting her to do that uh, the next stage was then to get her to come to me across the room and again to walk by that couch um, because I was behind that couch so she had to walk by it, ignore her human owner and the other dog and come to me on command uh, and that was the first step she didn't ever have any real obedience training so it's a good uh, test and skill challenge for her brain to work on coming in and staying on command so that was a, a good tool to use so back and forth we went and we would go from blanket to the other side of the house um, and back again and I was trying to get her to simply stay on her own um, and come when called and uh, with the leash around her neck she had a really hard time doing that um, and the leash was just a tool so her brain could process some weight. Uh, as she walked, she'd feel the pull of the leash, and it would it'd make her think more about what she was doing as opposed to just free roaming around. Um, so I used that tool to my advantage, and eventually, once I understand that she got the basic principles down, I could take off the leash, and she came a lot more smoothly. Once she got the basics down, it was more than okay for me to have her simply go to the chair and just lay next to her owner. Uh, I wasn't so concerned about keeping her on the blanket as much as I just wanted her to not jump up on the couch. Um, and eventually that was the end result, and uh, that's what we were looking for. So overall, I would say it was a great success. All right, so I'll ask you here. So this dog's on your lap and your Doberman's on the ground and you normally cannot do this, right? That's right. Why can't you do that normally? I kick, I kick this one out. This The Doberman the, kicks that one out? Yeah, the big one runs this one off. Okay. So what would you say was achieved today? Harmony and peace. Well... <laughs> Or to not have so much je jealousy or 
or whatever because she doesn't she's not mean about it but she gets her gets out and then she gets up on my lap that's so you've never been able to have a dog on your lap with dolly around no never good all right cool excellent